Hello, my name is Danny Cohen and I'll be presenting the quarterly release of Q2 2017 for the recruiting, recruitment module and recruitment marketing. The first topic in our agenda is the HR master data. The topic here is a new feature connecting the recruitment module to be based on the Employee Central Foundation elements like organizational units, divisions, departments. Till now, it used to be maintained in two separate lists, two separate sets of lists, and the synchronization between the two caused a lot of problems in processes like job requisition creation or candidate to employee process. From this point and on, the recruitment module will be based on the same foundation element lists, which will cause reusability of the same lists and consistency in data. A few minor enhancements in the module are the internal and external career search, search setting. Uh, till now, the option of setting the internal and external career search setting was done in provisioning and by SAP support or your SAP partner support. From this day and on, it was moved to your admin center and from this day, the administrator can select which fields will appear in the internal and external career site for search settings. This is an example of where you can find this setup screen under the recruitment module and within the admin center. Another minor enhancement, which is quite nice, is additional filters in the candidate list, list page. Till now, you could search by name only from this day on, you can search by first name, middle name, or last name. The combination is not supported yet. You can use search by email. And two new additional fields, which are quite neat, are the addition to select only applications which have been viewed already or not. So this way you can distinguish between new candidates which appear on your candidate search. And the last updated one, meaning when was the candidate or the application updated well, on the last time. The next feature is a small addition, but a useful one. From this day and on, we can see the person who forwarded the candidate to us. So till now, you had to go into the candidate record in order to view who forwarded this person, who, who referred this person to your uh, requisition. From this day and on, you can see this field on screen in the candidate pipeline. You can see it down here. Another nice feature is the option to validate the tokens within an email notification. So once you trigger or build the email notification, and if this email notification contains email tokens, the system will validate the content of these tokens and make sure that the actual candidate slash employee has the relevant values within these tokens. And if not, you will get a pop-up error message uh, notifying you that there are possible mistakes. A few additional minor enhancements are the scroll bars in the job requisition screen. Till now, if you had a very long list of job requisitions and a very long list of columns within each requisition, you had a lot of problems navigating in this screen. So if you wanted to scroll down, you couldn't find a vertical scroll bar. From this day and on, both scroll bars are valid and visible on screen all, at all times. Another topic is uh, the option of being able to identify duplicate candidates in a more obvious way. So till now, the warning message about potential duplicate candidates was not so clear or not so obvious. From this day and on, this pop-up message will be very clear and will help you identifying the duplicate candidates much easier. Okay, the next topic is again for candidate duplication. From this release and on, you can perform proactive duplicate search based on the candidate phone number. A lot of candidates appear with different emails. So comparing or basing your duplication on these emails caused a lot of 
duplicate candidates to still exist in the system. While now, when we are using the phone number, it makes, it makes this uh, search much focused one and uh, will reveal a lot of duplicates that were hidden till now in the system. One quick note, if you're using recruiting marketing, this feature will not be available for you. Another topic is related to permissions to view the resume, the CV of the candidate, or the cover letter. Till now, in order to see this, these two documents, you had to be the recruiter or the hiring manager within the job requisition. If you were an interviewer in the process, but none of these two, or not one of the, the two roles that I mentioned, you couldn't see the resume or the cover letter. From this day and on, you will be able to view that as an interviewer, and that's a very good improvement, which was quite needed. Another uh, improvement is having the ability to find users with more search criteria in the offer approval page. So that's it for this quarterly release for the recruitment module. Thank you for participating.